Hey folks, Jeff here. What I'd like to do on today's video is demonstrate to you on the proper way to put a blank on your lathe. Now, with this blank here, I'm going to be turning it into a cylinder using my three-quarter inch roughing gouge, and I am then going to cut it into pieces about three inches in length and turn those into pawns for chess pieces. So, what I like to do is get the tool rest out of here. Move my tailstock out of the way. I like to put it on the spur right here. Now, prior to doing this, what I've done is used a center square, drawn two lines where the lines intersect is dead center, and then I've used a center punch and hit dead center. So it makes things a little bit easier when putting your blank in the lathe. Then, when I got it on center, I like to take my hammer, Grandpa's old ball peen. Give her a tap. Make sure she's on there nice and snug. Introduce my tail stock. Tighten this in place. And then we'll just tighten her up until she's nice and snug. Not too snug though. Because as your piece gets thinner, if it's too snug, there's a possibility that it can bow on you. So you want it snug, but not too snug. It's kind of a happy medium that you'll find the more you do this. So after that's nice and snug, I lock her in place. I introduce my tool rest. I turn my blank till it's sitting just about center. I leave the tool rest about quarter inch back and just below center because ideally what you want is for your tool to sit right at center when you're turning at a 40 degree angle and make sure that when you're turning you always have your right at your right hand at the very end of the tool whatever chisel you're using this is a three quarter inch roughing gouge your left hand is supporting it right behind your tool rest and you're holding it at a 40 degree angle and working your way down the piece. Alright, that's it for today. Hope it helps.